Hello there. Welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. As you may have guessed, my name is Rebecca and I'm here to do an unboxing video today. I haven't done one in a while, so this ought to be a lot of fun. Um, Aviva from Global Land reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to have some free samples of our stamps? And I thought, you know, I think last year, I think it was last year, but I know I've got them. Um, I did a unboxing and review of some of their products and I really like them and I've been using those stamps especially the one with the little mice and the get well um, stamp set I love that one anyway um, so of course I said yes yes I'd be happy to do that and so what I'm going to do is she sent me a package we're going to open it up together for the first time and I'm just going to do an unboxing kind of look at them with you and see see what that is in this video and then next week I'll put out a video a process video using some of the stamps and we can review and look and see how well they take ink and how this set of stamps is now <laughs> let me show you what she sent me Look at this. This is what she sent, and I haven't gotten into it yet. It's all sealed up, so let's see what it is. I got ink all over my hand because I inked out the uh, address here. Hang on, let me wipe that off. Okay, yeah, that was me that put that ink on there. I uh, didn't let it dry very good. I was, you know, when you're um, a woman on YouTube, you generally don't put your, your address up for everybody to see to, and you know, share your address with people that you know. Let me get in here. All right, let's see here now. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Now, right off the top, let me say, I am going to put links to everything in the description below and links to the uh, page and uh, to just go shopping if you're interested. She did give me a 10% off discount code, REBE10, which will get you 10% off the order, um, which is really good because their stamps are very reasonably priced anyway. So uh, let's get in here and see. They do their own, they're their own company. Global Land. Um, let's see. All right. So this one, silicone clear stamps. It's got some little 4th of July looking gnome. Says USA. Happy Independence Day. That looks really cute. You can always use, if you want to make 4th of July cards, there you go. This one, oh, it's more 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. USA. More little gnomes but look at this balloon even if you weren't making a fourth of july isn't that a cute balloon set for a birthday card and look at these it says welcome hello aren't those cute and this one she's holding hearts you could even you could you know it's it looks sort of like a fourth of july set but wouldn't she be cute as a uh valentine okay and I said, we're going to see these again. This is just a quick walkthrough to see what's in this package. Aren't these adorable? It says, welcome little stinker and love and happy. And these are so fun to color. I just, I think coloring these kind of stamps are just such a, a fun thing to do. Um, skunks are always easy to color. Uh, this calls for a slam dunk. <laughs> Congrats. May all your swishes come true. And look, it's a little badminton bird. And so swishes, <laughs> you can do, it's also a tennis ball there. You can mask out the ball and put the little badminton bird in there. You could just do all sorts of stuff. Look at that. That is so cute. This one says, sending you a double measure of love. And it's got kind of a cooking theme going on here. Look, the little tongs here, a little spoon. Aren't they sweet? That is really cute. And these, I love the size of these for coloring. This is just so fun. You know, sometimes I think I'm going to make, you know, I've got a, um, a binding system. Um, we are memory keepers. I think I might like just stamp a bunch of these and put them in a little booklet, make a great coloring book for kids too. Wouldn't that, if you just left them black and white and kind of bound them together, we did a bunch of stamped images. That'd be fun. You could make a little coloring book. Okay. This one, it looks like it's in here backwards. It's sealed, but it's backwards. Let's open this one up. Let's see what this is. 
sure when they're packaging them, sometimes it's easy to get them in backwards. Okay, here we go. It says, gentle soul, loved beyond words, good boy, best friend. Oh, look at the baby sleeping with the puppy. Isn't that cute? Look at the little paw prints right here. Again, a lot of these, oh, look, there's a little, uh, I wonder if that's a Frisbee or if you could use it. Hmm, I bet that's a Frisbee because it's got lines like it's spinning. Loved beyond words. And little paw prints, you know, you could use these for things other than um, just with, the, if you didn't use anything, but just want some paw prints on the back of your envelope or something. That's cute. Oh, <laughs> little surfing animals. Good vibes, beach surf waves, the coolest surf rider. There's a little crab right here. There's some waves, little elephant surfing, a little monkey surfing and a bunny surfing. And then, of course, some palm trees with a coconut. That's cute. Look at all of this. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she sent me all this stuff. Okay, here's a fishing one. Real great guy. Fishing real. <laughs> Gone fishing, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Look at that one. That's a nice, fun, fun color, too, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to play with that one. Think before you speak. Read before you think. Oh, now, I love this one. Bookworm, get lost in a good book. Wouldn't this one make great uh, bookmarks? You know, you could, you could do bookmarks and uh, use these little guys bookworm with a little worm holding the book. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is one pack. And like I said, I will put links below. These are sold as as a pack. So um, if you, you buy it, you get the you can get a whole pack. I bet you, I don't know if they're sold in, I will have to look. We'll have to, I'll investigate that before next video. Okay, this one's Happy Mother's Day. It says, Mom, Mom, Happy Mother's Day to the best mom ever. Thank you for everything. My mother, my best, or my first friend. Thank you for everything. My mother, my first friend. Happy Mother's Day. Isn't that sweet? You can use it for Mother's Day. You could use it for a baby card. Wow, that's something. This one, Happy Easter. God's love never fails. Now, the only thing is, of course, in English, and these were these this these were made in China, I'm pretty sure. Um, but God in English, of course, is always capitalized. So that one, mm, you might need to maybe not use that part. And turn to Easter. I, I always capitalize Easter on an Easter card. But he lives, that's capital. Um but yeah, it's just a lost in translation thing, I think. But the angels and the uh, cross with the Easter lilies on it, very pretty. There's an Easter egg down here. And uh, so, yeah, maybe the words on this one wouldn't necessarily work in the United States or, you know, the UK where generally we capitalized um, God. This one's happy birthday. It says, enjoy today, make a wish, happy birthday. Um the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. Stay safe and eat cake. This one says, we don't get smarter as we get older. We just run out of stupid things to do. I like that. Life is short. Smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> That's a cheeky one, isn't it? On this special day, we celebrate you because you make every day special just by being you. And it's your birthday. That's nice. That's really cute. This cupcake has a, has a ball of yarn and knitting needles in it. Are they insinuating that you're turning into a granny? <laughs> That's cute. Bloom's party hat. Very nice. Oh, here's a pretty Christmas one. Pine cones with uh, pine needles. There's a holly leaf and some holly. There's a pine, pine cone. Some holly leaves. Yep. That's very nice. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And it's all really good on the spellings there. St. Patrick's Day. And happy with a rainbow, Mr. Lucky, happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at this cute guy to color there. That's a cute leprechaun. And there's a four-leaf clover. You can have some fun with that one. Ah, here's another one that's backwards. Yeah, it says made in China. 
of this. They are made in China. Let's put this back here. So you can see it against the white. Okay. Doctor's orders. Get it, dog. Doctor's orders. <laughs> Feel better soon. Sorry to hear you're feeling... Roll. Sorry to hear you're feeling roll. R-U-L. Okay. Hope your tail is wagging again soon. Not sure what that is. Get well wishes. That's good. There's a little thermometer and little pills. So there's some cute things on that one. Happy Valentine's Day. You and me equals awesome. Boy, I like that one. You and me equals awesome. That's good. You could almost, you know, do that for other kind of cards besides Valentine's. Um, look at all these little cats. That's very cute. Little Cupid cat here with his little Cupid wings. <laughs> okay, this one, some gnomes. Again, happy Valentine's Day. You are my favorite gnome. Valentine gnomes in love. <laughs> There's one you could do a red track with the Valentine gnomes there. Isn't that cute? I like this little guy. I think he'd be really cute because he's just the right size. I don't know. Sometimes when I sign my cards on the back, I've been putting like a lot of them. I put a little Pomeranian on the back because my friend Charlene gave me a Pomeranian. But um, And I have a love for Pomeranians. I don't have any um, dogs anymore, but I do. I had a Pomeranian that was my heart. Um, but anyway, I digress. This little guy, he would work real good about where you sign on the back of the card. Wouldn't he be the right size to just kind of add him to the back of your card? He is so cute. Okay, this one says, sweet girl, believe, achieve, succeed. Work hard and be nice, and you can. And it's a little girl in a reading in a chair. Looks like here she's maybe doing some homework. Here she's working on her computer, and there's a computer. So good inspiration card for, uh, or if you're doing a scrapbook and you've got a picture, you know, maybe of your girl studying, that would be a really good one to kind of use as a, around us, uh, scrapbook page because I do my stamps get a lot of use they get used in cards but I also use them in my scrapbooking and I've got to come up with a I got to, I'm gonna come out with a scrapbooking video pretty soon here um, because I've got um, like a walkthrough video to get you caught up on some scrapbook pages I think some of these got packaged rather quickly probably here we go Okay, friends forever thinking of you, a little doghouse, fire hydrant. Look at this little guy. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That is so cute. That looks like one of Queen Elizabeth's dogs, right? Uh, what are those, corgis? <laughs> I don't know. That is just adorable. Another one backwards. Can't see it. Unless it's on a white background. So let me put it back on the white background here. There we go. Oh, it's monsters. How cute is that? It says, monster, eat. Let's get fired up for your special day. Wouldn't those be fun to color? Because there's no rules when you color monsters, right? You can make them any color you want. Because they're monsters. This one says, you're the best. I love you. Lots of really cute little stamps um these would be fun you can put them into other stamp sets if you just wanted to mix in a butterfly and a dragonfly or a little tweety bird this is and look and and i think if you do planners these are a good little size you could add them to your planner that is really neat and this is like a frame with the days so this is a frame this is separate i think let's look at this real quick so that we know in case we want this one i mean like i already have it but in case you want this one I want you to know. Yes, that is two different stamps. So that's a flower stamp and that is a frame stamp on that one. So um, that's kind of a nice thing. I like it when you can take the frame and put whatever you want on the inside, whether it be your sentiment or one of those cute little animals. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this little bear. Look at all the art supplies, watercolor paints, little glasses, 
Look at all of this little guy. And these are blank. These are blank. So you can just stamp in whatever you want. I love you or happy first day of school or whatever you want to stamp in there. Just take any of your, your um, you know, I could take this, you can, and put that right here, you can, and as an inspiration card. I love giving my grandchildren inspiration cards during the week. Okay, this one. All right, again, backwards. Okay, here we go. Oh, Eiffel Tower. Look at how they've done this. If you mask, you know, like you do the little boy, and then you can put the, and you mask it, um, mask him, and then you can do the position the little girl sitting on the back of the bike here and mask her and then and stamp the bike. And then when you unmask everything, it'll look like they're sitting on the bike. Maybe we'll have to do this in the process video so you can see how that works out. It says, enjoy the ride, love, and it's got all sorts of um, fun things there. Okay, this one is backwards. My goodness. It doesn't affect the quality of the product, obviously. And it only matters because I want you to be able to see it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. I just probably throw them in backwards myself. Um, this is just so that you have, you know, something that you can stamp words in. There's two little birds here. The uh, ink, it looks like maybe got on here from something. But that's two little birds that you can put on either end. But it makes it look like they're holding the uh, banner. There's some arrows, some tags. Just This is a nice one for scrapbooking. Look, you can make all these kind of around pictures. But it's good for card making, too. Okay. Here's one. Dinosaurs, roar, and cool, and Dino, and look at these cute little, look at this Triceratops. That's adorable. I know my grandkids are definitely getting some cards made with these guys. That's so cute. This one. Oh, you can see it. It's upside down. There we go. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Has a little bit of, uh, has all the, it's layered stamping to do cupcakes. So this is multiple layers. So this will be a fun one to play with and get it, get it. And then there's a little birthday candle you can put on top. That one's pretty neat. And another one backwards. We'll call this the backwards stamp video. No, we won't. And like I said, it doesn't affect the product. It just makes it easier for you to see, for me to share it with you, if I can get them in there right side up. Okay. This has uh, XOXO, you know, like hugs and kisses. And hello, yay, thanks, love you, congrats, hey. Again, another one that would be really cute if you did planners. Look at all these cute little, little stamps. My granddaughter is really into looking at insects. She's got magnifying glasses and all sorts of stuff. She's just in that real curious stage. So this would be a cute one for her. <coughs> all right, excuse me. All right, one more. I can't believe how generous. This is really nice. Um, definitely. Now, like I said, next week there's going to be a video using some of these stamps and a process video. So you'll get all sorts of stamp uh, inspiration for stamping. All right, this is borders. And look at this, there's a heart border. There's some individual snowflakes, those aren't attached. Little individual penguin. These are attached, all these dogs, but they all have different expressions. A smiling dog, a happy dog, and a winking dog. Then another border with fruit. Another, this is like a fall harvest border. I don't know if that's showing up real well, I hope so. Uh, Teacups and a tea little uh, teapot and tea bag right there. Cherries and flowers for spring. Paper airplanes and stars. Won't that be cute on like a card? And then little bears with presents. All of these can be not only used on scrapbooking, on card making. You could put these on the back of the envelope along the top. You could put them on the inside of the card, just stamp, because you know me, I like stamp doing the insides of my cards. So see a lot of use for that. Oh, another border one. This is waves. Look at all these different waves. Aren't those pretty? Can't you see doing those in layers of blues and, and greens? and Very pretty. This one is corners. Okay, now you can see it better. All right, corners. Little rows right here to kind of give it some little accent. 
But look at all these variety of corners. Again, I'm thinking scrapbooking. I'm thinking card making. I'm thinking of decorating an envelope. Doing in a journal, you know, your art journal. I mean, you always need, I always need corners up in my art journals and stuff. Very nice. Ah, some more borders. This one, little heart, EKG, little, uh, um, looks like the pencil has done a little loop-de-loop -loop sort of thing here. We've got music, we've got bows, flowers, fish with bubbles, mushrooms, cactus, love banner and flowers. So very cute. Ooh, lace. These are lace borders. Look at that. How pretty is that? Again, wouldn't this be nice for an art journal? This, this pack of them, um, I can really see using a lot in an art journal. More lace. And it's, it's different than this one, but also similar. So you could have that same feel. Isn't that nice? Very pretty, all sorts of lacy borders. Now this one's waves, but it's not like, let me pull out the other wave just to make sure. Yeah, it's different, it's a different set, but kind of the same feel, but isn't that pretty? I really like this angry ocean there, that's pretty really tumultuous there. Okay, another corner one, and another corner one that's in backwards, but that's okay. I'll make it so you can see it. There we go. Now, let's look compared to this corner. So see, very different again. Oh, there's no, no duplicates in there, but again, you have some really pretty corners. Love that. I'll be set for corner stamps now, huh? And this one has, has a balloon border here. Oops, turn it this way. Balloons, because they go up. Um, I was looking at these hearts. They're upside down, but that's just because they're all kind of mixed in on here. There's ice creams. This is a frame. Now, that this piece is separate right here. So this one comes out. So you could have this and then just stamp your sentiment on the inside if you didn't want to use that flower piece. Isn't that pretty? Look at all this. Look at the little cat with the paw prints and the little fish bones. And then leaves scattered in the wind. Isn't that pretty? Just all sorts of different ones. Okay. So one, two, three, four collections. I will put them all in the um, description below. And again, you get a 10% discount if you do make an order. It's REBE10 is the, to get the 10% discount. Thank you to Global Land for sending this. Thank you, Aviva, for reaching out. I'm really excited. And now comes the fun of opening them and playing with them. So, you know, you'll want to um, hang tight. And, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe just so that you can not miss what happens to all these. You don't want to, like, miss out on the rest of the story, right? So <laughs> be sure to uh, leave me any comments, questions. If there's a particular stamp set you want to see me work with, if you say, oh, use this one, I want to see how it looks and, and whatever, leave that for me in the comment below so that I be sure to pull that particular one and create with it for you. So this is um, my haul video for day today. Thank you for watching and happy paper crafting! Mm -hmm.